What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Strong Art, a.k.a. I Sue the Guru. And today, I'm going to be talking about this whole situation that we got going on with your boys, Fresh and Fit versus Abba and Preach. I mean, right now, honestly, this thing is getting crazy. I have my opinions on it. I have my opinions on it right now. Um, there's a few things that I kind of... I kind of don't like and a few things I saw coming right so first I'm going to speak from the point of how does this relate to the metaphysical because we know this is what I speak on all right on this channel I speak about the metaphysical and the occult and how it relates to things that are going on nowadays right well let's 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 take a look at this right you see how they've been doing things on their show I always had the feeling like you you stepping you stepping your toe into the deep end, man. Not so much that, not not the subject matter, not the subject matter of what they talk about because what they talk about is red pill facts. They talk about red pill facts, men empowerment, men becoming better, stand on your purpose, becoming more of who and what you are, what you need to be, and how to deal with women accordingly. That's not necessarily wrong from the manus, overall manosphere red pill perspective, right? But the execution of how they were doing their show. Now, these are my opinions about how I see it. Now, I know there's a lot of you who are standing up and, and protecting them right now, but for me, my main issue with FNF was just like, to me, it was just like, it was, it was to me, too much of a spectacle. It was like too much of a show, man. I'm like, bro, it's like, y'all are kind of just playing with it. I mean, you bringing these all these girls on your show, you inciting drama. You bring these girls who don't know any better and really kind of just poking at them. Where it's just like, I mean, yeah, I understand what you're doing, but come on, bro. Like just about every show, man. Because I, I I watched them a little bit in the beginning, and I uh, I kind of like, I kind of didn't like the execution, of how they were going about doing their thing, right? It just to me it seemed messy, sloppy. It just seems like it just turned into entertainment the only thing everybody wanted to see is when he was kicking abroad out it's just kind of like man come on bro like you know i mean why are you bringing these chicks up here like every night just to technically make them look foolish which yeah they do it to themselves but at the same time you're, you're triggering these young ladies with stuff that you know that they don't know about and then again really kind of just looking for the drama and to me i'm like yo this ain't gonna last something's gonna happen um there it is. I mean, obviously, that's that kind of reap what you sow mentality right there, man. I mean, you, in my opinion, the way that they were going about it was just like, come on, bro. And now you got Alvin Preach calling them out. And you said what you said about this man. You talked about his family. You talked about his country. And now he wants to smoke. You know what I mean? Now he's willing to come to your city and handle business. But, you know, now you want to back down. Now you want mercy. Basically say, oh, we're just going to let this ride. We're going to forgive y'all. No, no, no. Now that boy preach. He's coming down to Florida. He's looking for the smoke, bro. You know what I mean? He's looking He's looking to put them paws on you, G. So you got to be a man and, and hold your own. And now at this point, from what we see, it's like, oh, you going out, you buying a... Uh, Apparently in your Instagram, you just bought a, I guess you just bought a pistol or something. You know, I'm just like, bro, like fresh. Like, what are you doing, man? Like, <laughs> I mean, come on. And now everybody from top to bottom is just going in on these cats, man. Um, I will say this. I do not like now. It seems like we have a whole lot of artists, different opinions now who are coming from the other side of what we call these. I don't know if we really want to officially call these guys these blue pill sips who are now trying to attack them based off manosphere principles. And to that, I say, chill the hell out. Stop all that nonsense. Stop that. You know what I mean? Slow down with all that bullshit because you're trying to come at it like, oh, they're going to be lonely. They shouldn't talk to women like that. Da, da, da. The mentality of what they're doing or what they, of the mentality of how they're moving is not wrong. You know, that's the type of stuff that true you do need to hear because they got cosign. They got OG'd in. They had some of the OGs of the manosphere bring them in, i.e. Kevin Samuels, 
Donovan Sharp. You know, I think Minister Jap has, has given them shout outs before. So it's not like what they're saying is wrong, but the fact that they're technically kind of kind of scamming, you know, as far as like what they're doing, you know, the, the lifestyles that they're trying to say that they live. I can understand if you're saying, hey, this is how you should go about doing things. But then again, to on the other hand, and now we have receipts showing. But, bro, when you're dealing with these broads, you setting it up to where it's just like, oh, they can only come on the, come up on the show if, if they smash you because they were smashing another dude, you know, and now she got to smash you. You know, it's just like, come on, bro. That's corny, bro. That's corny, fam. I mean, gee, <laughs> come on. Now, like I said, as this relates to the content I do, man, like on the metaphysical side of the house, I saw this coming, bro. I was like, y'all cooking up a lot of nasty energy over there. I'm like, something's going to come for you because the only time you was really hearing something go down over there is when they would kick one of the ladies out and then they're trying to fight him. Cause I think a couple of them attacked uh fit, you know I mean? Like, I think there's like, I don't know if it was it actually got up to the point of lawsuits, but a couple of these girls, like they attacked Myron and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, like, bro, you, you, you literally dragging these ratchet chicks up in your, your studio, in your space. Ain't no telling what's going to happen. And you were literally like, it's almost like you're trying to do Kevin Samuels work face to face though with these bras. And I'm trying to tell you, you know damn well what you're dealing with. You know that it ain't gonna be hey, bruh. You already know that they gonna bruh, they gonna do some some stupid shit, bro. Like I wouldn't I would not bring uh you know these lovely ladies who don't know how to control themselves, shout out to Dennis Brother, who is gonna come into your studio and your place of business and act a straight fool, bro. Like I mean, y'all tried it and you see where it's getting you. I personally, I would let that ride, my G. Um, other than that, though, my point is, is just that how they were using points from the overall manosphere with red pill understanding, that in itself isn't wrong. Now, Myron still kind of has his, and just like everybody else in the manosphere, in the red pill, right? Just like everybody else. You know, everybody has their own exact kind of ways that they execute what they preach so there's a little bit nuance here and here some are more for marriage you know some and, and others who are completely against it um i mean me myself I, I i don't have any plans to get married ever again to be honest uh but like that's that, that's just me because on my side of red pills sysbm over here all right you know i mean i keep it international um, and that's the type of lifestyle that I live and that I work toward. So, but, but yeah, man, it's going down, man. I mean, I'm sure by now you've heard all the details of what's going on, unless there's something new that I haven't checked out yet. But like I said, guys, this is turning into a straight mess. I mean, uh, I don't know how they're going to bounce back from this, man. I mean, I'm sure you've seen all the videos. I'm sure you've you know, you've heard all the, the little juicy inside stories, but right now, man, it's it's looking bad for the home team, man. F and F. I don't know what y'all finna do, but bro, y'all uh it I'm just saying it's looking it's looking bad, man. <laughs> it's just looking bad for those guys right now. Um they've lost a bunch of subscribers. Um and I've been preaching have gained a bunch of subscribers. And I mean I was always I was always listening to both guys. Um F and F and I've been preach, but you know, in this at this point, I see that there's actually because a lot of people are saying, how come none of the Manosphere big dogs are backing them up? Well, in this case, they kind of got to hold their own. You know, they kind of got to hold their own in this case. It's like y'all pick this battle, or this this is your battle. I mean, you don't need us jumping in because this isn't really a red pill. Uh, you know, point of view to where you're getting attacked by feminists or something like that. This is more like, well, y'all kind of got into it with other brothers based off of y'all's fuckery. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, these boys are calling you out with receipts saying, hey, bro, you ain't who you say you are. Now, this is a bit different because I feel like the big dogs of the manosphere are just kind of like, well, hey, bro, you, you got you to gotta fight this one out. Y'all got to fight this or not. This is on y'all. Y'all might have to hold this L. All right? Because 
what really comes down to it is that boy, you know what I'm saying, the boy Fresh was the one who just was like, hey, you know, let's fight it out. Let's box. Let's do it. And you let your mouth get away from you. And that boy Preacher was like, let's do it. He's like, I'll be in Florida next week. He's like, I'm going to come to the States and see you, family. He's like, you want to box? It is what it is. You disrespected my family, my wife, my heritage, my country. Oh, nigga, it's on. It's going down. Yo, fr fresh, bro. Like, how you looking in these streets right now, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my G, you got to do something, bro. Like, I mean, hats off to y'all to figure it out. But at the end of the day, y'all got to take a lesson from this, man. Real talk. Y'all got to learn from this one. Um, you know, I don't hate F and F, Fresh and Fit. Uh, to me, I feel like the execution, the way they do the show, my personal opinion, I feel like it's a little bit corny, how they do their show. Um, I kind of feel like they could, you know, there's different ways, because you don't need to have all them, these girls who don't know any better every night on your show, just a panel full of like 13, 14 broads up here, and y'all just, you know, just kicking off some, some, some stuff to really kind of just make them look foolish. And then kick one of them out. And then, you know, you're kicking up drama. Like, come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. And, yo, and based off this situation, Streets is looking. They're like, hey, uh, are you who you say you are? Because if you are, why does it look like you're running, my G? You said you want to bury the hatchet, but nah, that boy wants to smoke. So what you going to do? What you going to do? Right? You can't kick them out.